If you're looking to buy your next set of irons purely based on data alone, then we could probably just about finish here. I've just hit a seven iron with a 170 carry, 19.2 launch, 115 ball speed off an 80 mile an hour club head speed, and 91 peak height and a near 45 degree descent angle. That is an incredible set of numbers. Now it's time to take it out on the golf course and find out exactly what this iron is. That's the first shot on the golf course, pretty much what I'd seen inside on Trackman. Those numbers are absolutely perfect and they come from an iron that you would least expect. Now we all love a good old dramatic thumbnail and title. A golf club that will change your game forever. Surely that's got to be clickbait, right? That's another super ball. I don't think it'll get there from back here but done exactly what I saw inside. Let's repeat those numbers again. Super high launch, super peak height, super descent angle, combined with a 170 carry. That's surely gotta be coming from a pretty special iron. With a launch angle and a descent angle, you'd expect it to come from a player's iron. And when in fact, it comes from the opposite end in terms of categories and genre, this is a game improvement iron. Grab. And it is quite possibly the best game improvement iron of 2024, in my opinion. Just how good is that ball flight? That's exactly where I'm aiming. Green is just tucked uh, a little way around the corner on this dog leg. This is an iron from PXG, it's a new or Black Ops, and it's their game improvement iron. And I really wished in many ways they wouldn't put it into this category. I understand why, because it ticks all those boxes that we'd expect from a game improvement iron. It's a bit bulky on the size, it's got a wide sole, it's strong lofted. So all those things, yes, I attribute to a game improvement iron, but what I don't attribute to a game improvement iron is the sound and feel and the performance that I've seen inside on Trackman and now outside on the golf course. And it could be a lot of golfers are gonna ignore this for all the wrong reasons. And there are a number of reasons what make this possibly the best game improvement iron of 2024. First of all, I think it looks superb. They've done a great job in terms of aesthetics. And I'm also gonna go into a little bit more detail about the sound and feel because that is very different than what you would associate. It's a hollow bodied iron and it's got the X-Core 2 filling. That's the foam, the magic that's packed inside. Some of the likes of the Gen 7 irons, for example, have exactly the same foam inserted inside them. And it really does a great job in terms of sound and feel. So that's, that's fantastic. But out here today, I've just hit three shots and they're, they're all good shots. They're not out the screws, but what they've done is effectively is the end result has been far better than the swing. And that's what I like about game improvement irons because effectively what it means is you get away with a bit. And as an average golfer, that's what you need. And every time I review an iron of this sort, I genuinely ask myself the same question. Are we all making a huge mistake? When I say all, I mean every category of golfer. Just why wouldn't you want to benefit from the kind of help that you get from these type of irons? It just baffles me. It's an incredible ball flight. Just stayed out down the right trying to bring that one in, but it's certainly the right distance again. And certainly traveling, I mean, out here on the course, maybe uh, ease off it a little bit. So I think it's kind of that 165 area that I'm hitting with it, but you can see ball flight descent angle. And stopping on greens, which is always the one with the game improvement irons that we question, is that spin number gonna to drop too low because of that strong loft? And no, it's, a, it's an equation. The strong loft is because of where the CG is, and otherwise we just have the ball absolutely blooming. But I think we're all starting to grasp that story now. But the biggest shock is the sound and feel, because again, it's not something we associate with a game improvement iron. PXG themselves, and always like a bold claim, have suggested they perhaps feel better than forged. Well, I wouldn't go maybe not that far, but what I will say, it's incredibly good. And the similarities between the hollow bodied in the Gen 7s and this are, um, well, I'd like to put them side by side because it is so good, soft feeling, responsive, receptive in the hands. You know exactly where you've hit it on a club face. And again, a massive tick in a box for something that you might necessarily be looking for in a game improvement iron. It's just probably 
Best strike of the day to finish. <laughs> that might even go in. I think that's the perfect note to finish on. We've, we've seen plenty of shots outside and we've got dry ball data inside. And I think what I will say about the PXG Black Ops iron that is definitely, without doubt, one of the very best game improvement irons that I've ever tried for all the reasons I've already suggested. And the only reason that any golfer wouldn't choose to game this club is because of the profile. If you're put off by the larger profile, the larger width of sole, the larger top line, the oh, then I understand. But for every other reason, sound and feel, performance dry ball data wise, and out on the course, it's hard to ignore just how good this iron has been. And I've got to admit, I'm a little bit shocked as just to how good that was. Right, that's me done. Thanks as ever for watching. Give me your feedback, give me your comments down below, and um, I'll be interested to know your thoughts on this Black Ops iron from PXG and I'll see you all soon.